trying to work out the lighting. So, hopefully I'm going to be a bit more energetic when I film this because this is my third attempt at filming this video. Today's video is one that I shared last year. Now, I am going to split this into two segments, my childhood bullying story and then adult life bullying because they are similar but they are also different in their own way. Hey, we'll see you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello, subscribe ring the little bell so you're notified every single time I make a video because I post pretty much every day. So like I said in the intro today I am going to be sharing the story about bullying and just before I get started with this video I am changing the names of absolutely everybody involved apart from my own name. I will also not be naming the school that I went to and I would like to ask that if you do know the school that I went to or the people involved that they are not named in the comments. For this reason, comments on this video will be set to approval only, simply for my privacy, for their privacy. I started secondary school in the year 2009, September, one of the beginning days, I can't remember, 11 years ago. It's a long time ago. So into in school, in any of the years, I was never part of like one of the big friendship groups. I was kind of a part of that French group that just bickered with each other over nothing like we'd pass notes in class to each other and then we'd get into arguments over notes and aggressively throw it across the table. Shit like that. I'm, I'm guessing kids just snapchatting now. So I made friends with a girl who for the sake of this video I'm calling Sophie. Uh, I jumped into that friendship with Sophie really really fast. We became, I like to think good friends, clearly not. We played Nintendogs together and when I say that I mean the original one not the new one. We fell out and let me be really honest with you guys I cannot remember at all what we fell out over. I did not expect her to turn around and start bullying me. That was not something I thought was gonna hit me. She didn't seem like the type of person that would do that to someone. It started off with her following me home from school on the bus. I should also point out we lived in the same street. I lived at number 19, she lived at 40 something. And every single time she followed me and then one day her brother got off the bus with her. I knew they was following me so I went through an underpass around a really long backwards way that went nowhere near her house. Deliberately. And, and I know it stayed still following me so I did what I assume was a fast walk. So her and her brother was chasing me up this hill. Her brother eventually caught up with me and pinned me against the wall. She came running around the corner, started beating at me, pulled my hair, carried on for quite a while. Oh, she was horrible in school. She got moved to a group. We used the same tutor group as I should have mentioned that earlier. She did get moved out of the tutor group to try and prevent it. But my school was absolutely hopeless when it came to bullying. Um, so one of the mornings, my mom screamed up the stairs, Lydia, don't come down. And it was like 12, 30, and who listens to their parents at that age? Of course I went downstairs, I wanted to know what my mom was fussing about. Sophie had basically carved in the door, Lydia dying, and a rock got thrown through the window. A plus for stupidity. My mom obviously phoned the police because, you know, criminal damage. It, it's, it's generally frowned upon, to be honest, and eventually this girl was moved from the school. So school, the year 7 was a nightmare, I ended up getting burnt in cooking, I ended up getting paper thrown at me I, I can't I get god knows what thrown at me on the bus all around it weren't great so we go on to year eight and this is the year and the only year i ever had a running with any of the popular kids i don't like saying popular kids they was all really sporty and i wasn't unfortunate enough to end up in the same pe group as them i'm quite happy to sit and do a maths exam paper rather than running around a field it was really messed up thinking about it now they basically took pictures of everyone in the pe class getting changed which is already creepy enough they then went on to post them on facebook and yeah i asked them to take the picture of me down off Facebook, which is a very reasonable request, in my opinion. I, I don't really see why they posted it in the first place, but whatever. I guess that is that. I asked them to remove it. Eventually I got into a full-on argument on Facebook comments with the 
ringleader of that group. They chased me around that school so many times and at one point they trapped me in the bathroom and I was lucky enough that a staff member did come in and eventually the ringleader of that little group got moved to school. Um, my mum went in about that, into the school about that too, kicked off and she got kicked out of school. Thanks mum. And got absolutely nowhere because like I said my school was shit. So we're going to fast forward to year 9 and I'm going to merge this year with 9, year 10 and year 11 because they are the three years that I did GCSE year. Yes, I did my GCSEs a year early. That's what my school did because it was an academy. These are the years where cyberbullying became the main source. Now in year 9 I was already at a point where I was quite deep into my eating disorder. I didn't eat anything at school. I, cu I just couldn't, couldn't have friends. I was too irritable and that is entirely because of my eating disorder. Um, this year, these years were absolute hell. I nearly moved school because of everything that went on. I was told to kill myself on a daily basis. I had people threatening to kill me. I had pretty much everything under the sun said to me. I said I had people saying, "Are you going to slash your wrist?" Blah blah blah. And I should say there were two charges placed against people and a further person arrested due to what happened in this school. Now. This is where the story turns deep and I don't want to talk too much about all the hate on Facebook because you can all imagine what was said to me. It wasn't ever any ni anything nice, it was always horrible, kids being... There were so many death threats that it got to a point where I was, I was not able to do PE because the school thought there was a risk to my life. That, that's how serious this got. But that came out after the second incident that I'm going to get into. The first major incident that happened was when two girls who were in my tutor group, the two ringleaders of all of the bullying that took place in them three years, decided to follow me to outside one person who I hung out with tutor group and pinned me over a balcony. My, that just carried on, name calling, Facebook, I, and these two girls who bullied me, I was friends with them before. And because I'm, I've always been too trusting and I've always opened up too quickly to people, they plastered every little detail of my life on Facebook. They was either saying it to my face, shouting it down the bus or posting it all over my Facebook. It got to a point where I disabled my Facebook account because I couldn't log on without finding a threat. And because of the stuff that had happened before, I was already terrified anyway. It led to me getting on a bus at 7 o'clock in the morning, even I didn't start school until 25 past 8. These two girls plastered everything about my life everywhere. Everyone and everything. So I was doing my GCSE years, and I went and sat outside the classroom for most of my lessons because all the teachers were aware of the bullying. The year above me was aware of the bullying. The year below me was aware of the bullying. Everyone in my year got added to that Facebook page. It was horrible. I had this every single day from multiple accounts. It just, and it did cause me to make an attempt on my life. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend it took it. It was little things, but what eventually it adds up. And then one day I was sat in a lesson and someone came out with a knife. And that is just something that sh shouldn't happen. This country or any other country, no kid should be threatened with a weapon, no adult should be threatened with a weapon. Having that happen in school, you would think the school, you know, did something because, hello, CCTV, brand new building. But no, I ended up in a &E because they didn't get it on camera. And the day that I finished my last exam, I never went back to that school. But before I end this video, I do just want to say this. There was a group of people at school that did try to defend me and did talk to me now and then. Especially in lessons, because I used to get really, really distressed in classes. I couldn't focus. I didn't have to walk out. It just wasn't great. I had a thing called a timeout pass, meaning that I could just go and clear my head. It did get to a point where I had to leave school early or later than everyone because there was just so much happening that it was dangerous for me to be with the other kids because no one knew what was going to happen. And I ended up starting to go to maths every single day after school and you know I went on to do, I've, I've gone on to do quite well for myself I want to think. School was not a pleasant experience for me. But my reason in making this video is if you are getting abused online or if you're being bullied in school or 
in college or were. Don't be afraid to say something. My bullying story ends with police being involved and arrests being made because of, you know, getting assaulted. The school I went to didn't deal with it great, but a lot of schools do actually deal with bullying quite well. And I know my sister's school does too. You are not alone. You're not. A lot of people go through bullying and I was no exception. School was never going to be fun. But the best thing to think about is it's five years of your life. And then what? You, you get to live the rest of your life. Don't let five years dictate your entire future.